All right, this next lady is one of my favorite comedians coming all the way from New York City. Now she lives here in Arizona with us. Put your hands together for Phyllis Boren. <laughs> Listen, I think we already established that I'm not 25, but in cat years, I'm only 14. But let me tell you, <clears throat> before I even start my routine, I gotta tell you something that just happened that upset me when we were parking our car. I overheard a woman tell her friend, old people have a smell. Well, sure we do. Mine is beer and marijuana. Is this a Ganji crew? Can I hear it? Is this <laughs> like mother's milk to me. Excuse me. Can I tell you, I put the Jew in marijuana. And I want to let you guys know where I'm coming from, okay? I'm right on the cusp of see-through panties and adult diapers. <laughs> you know, some women have so much trouble with getting older. They'll put anything on their face if they think it'll make them look younger. My girlfriend uses Preparation H on her face. Preparation H. I mean, like, what if her, her date says, gee, hon, you look great, but what's that smell? Wouldn't you feel like an asshole? I sure as hell would. Yeah. But I think it's, it's not so much I'm aging as my infrastructure is breaking down. I'll give you an example. I signed up for Kundalini Yoga. Why? I thought it said Kundalingus Yoga. I mean, you should have seen their faces when I showed up in my crotchless pants. <laughs> If these lips could talk. <laughs> but even worse, last week, a good friend, well, a former good friend, invited me to a Lottie Da charity event. Well, I'm so fidgety, so he leans over and he whispers, would you please sit on your hands and stay in your place? But I he said, would you please pull down your pants and sit on my face? So I did. I'm codependent, okay? But, I, but I'm not happy with the changes in my body. No, no, for instance, my boobs are sagging. Yeah, my cups runneth over. I used to be a 34B. Now I'm a 34 long. And when I say my when I say my boobs are going south, I'm not talking um, just around the corner. Uh, you know, let me tell you, right about now, they're crossing the equator. It isn't so bad in the winter because they keep my knees warm. I don't even know where my nipples are. I haven't seen them in months. You know, now some women can wear these stretch bras. I had to get a winch. Oh, oh, and just to make my day complete, this morning I read, women listen to this because this affects us, I read as a woman ages, her vagina drops. Well, I guess I'll have to date short guys now. You, you know, sweetheart, you're sitting like this with your hands like this. You know what that's body language for? Show me, bitch. Yeah. But I don't want you guys to get a uh, la -di da about the vagina thing because gravity is not your friend either. You know what happens when Mr. Te testicles, when you get older? <laughs> but it's not all bad news. No, no, no. Listen, I got to create the signature drink for senior citizens. It's equal parts vodka and prune juice. We call it the plunger. 
No, but listen, you know, you young girls, look at her. She has a, an older daughter, but she's still a young girl. You young girls, you can't relate to what I'm saying. No, no, because you get up off a chair, everything gets up with you. Right, bitch. <laughs> I, I get up off a chair, I have to take inventory. Oh, I left my behind behind. So, but yeah, what, am I, what else do I want? To, oh, I want to tell you guys, I might seem a little off tonight. I don't know if you could even tell. I saw something the other day that really threw me. Did you ever see uh, an uncircumcised penis? Raise your hand if you have an uncircumcised penis. She does. She, it's, her, it's her boyfriend, her daughter's boyfriend. <laughs> oh my God, it looked like the Cape Crusader. I didn't know whether I should say fuck me or save me. And last night I was so stressed out, I was gonna masturbate, but I had a headache. No, for a long time, my only sex is getting patted down at the airport. So, so let's find out, who here doesn't masturbate? Okay, that's very good. We'll all go blind together. Yeah, what else do I, you know, I, I don't know, my girlfriend is a therapist. And she says there's nothing wrong with, ma with masturbation because it takes off the edge. Sometimes it takes off the skin. I'll tell you what I think is wrong. The only thing I think is wrong, I'll wait. Thank you. <laughs> the only thing I think is wrong with masturbation is it gets boring. It's kind of like, oh, it's you again. <laughs> so anyway, I tried doing vibrators, but I'm no good with machines. <coughs> Excuse me. I put it on auto reverse. I ended up buffing my teeth. My girlfriend says she has a talking vibrator. I can't imagine what it would say. A little to the left. Was it good for you? Anyway. I can remember my very first vibrator. Brought it home, used it with a little oil. The damn thing heated right up. I could have stir-fried on there. I mean, isn't that dangerous? I could see the headline now. Local comic dies in fire, found with charred vibrator in hand. But, but you know something? Even, the, girls, listen to this, even with masturbation, there's no equality of the sexes. Like, you guys have a million things that you can call what you do. Uh, pickle, uh, polish the pickle, peel the banana, pull the pork. I mean, but what do we girls have? Put finger A on tab B? Yeah, I knew you'd get that one. <laughs> I'll tell you what I call it, okay? Here's what I say. I say I'm plucking that one string guitar. That's what I have. But since it's a pretty savvy group, let me ask you guys, do you know that size doesn't matter? Unless you want to have intercourse. <laughs> okay, he's giving me the light. Okay, well, uh, I have been researching penises for like 50 years. I'm 51, okay. And, and I'm, I'm still fascinated. I'm not saying they're pretty, but they are, they are very entertaining. Girls, will you back me up? When guys walk around naked with all that bouncing and bop, Tell me it's not a puppet show. Okay, I'm at the end, but I always like to say a brief word about oral sex. More. And girls, here's the tip to get your partners to give you oral sex. Douche with vodka. <laughs> I'm not very
very good about returning it. I even once wrote a protest song called, Maybe for Your Birthday. <laughs> but I look at myself and I say, how much time do I have? I mean, come on. So I decided to get a tattoo on my labia. Raise your hand if you don't know where the labia, you know where the labia is? Okay, I'm very glad. If those, if those lips could talk. Yeah, he's showing me, he knows. No, you don't have a labia, honey. We have a labia. Okay. Okay. I'm getting a tattoo on my labia, and it's going to say, Best of Eaten from, by 2022. I expected more from you on that. Okay, well, let me say, let me end with a question for you guys, because you're savvy. Why don't you guys make some sounds during sex? Are we supposed to create the whole soundtrack? Couldn't you at least cough, whistle, crack your knuckles? And when you do come, would you please let us know? Like a tap on the shoulder? Maybe a fax? No, 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 I've got it. A postcard. I've arrived. Having wonderful time. Wish you were here. Thank you guys, you've been fun. Keep it going for Phil and Thorne. All right.